hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about wordpress rest api authentication so in my previous video um i showed you how we can um get posts uh using posts rest api um which is sorry which is um here in this list post api but when i tried to create post it was giving me an error so let me show you what error so here is the um, post api um, create post api which is um so yeah wpv2 post this wpv2 post and then i have added some parameters to it so this is the post title content and status so when i tried it uh, it is saying me that rest cannot create sorry you are not allowed to create post <coughs> so <coughs> why it is saying like that it is similar to like on the website you can't add any post without an administrator login so similarly uh, in the rest api we have to do something to tell api that the user uh, performing this api is an administrator or is allowed to um, add a post so in that case we have to use authentication so that authentication is the method for the rest api to tell that the api who is performing this um, is has the authority to do this so that is uh, we called authentication so it is uh, used to authorize api to perform certain x um, actions for example you can um, so at here we get the data of the post but we can prevent some data by getting as well but uh, to get sensitive sensitive data um, we can author set authorization for the get api as well and uh, mainly it is for to add update and delete the data so why we need when we should have authentication so generally for the get um, api we are not having authentication but still it's up to you you can add an authentication for the get api but it is mainly for the add edit and delete the data from your site so here in the wordpress <coughs> there are few methods to authenticate um auth 1.0a server application password and json web tokens so in this video i'm going to talk about json web tokens so what is web token it is uh it is a random string kind of a server so for the website we we use server session and there will be a cell um, server session key for particular user by which server knows that this user is logged in so similarly we will have some string uh, by which uh, api will know that the particular user is logged in so first of all we need to add this plugin to our site so here i'm gonna add 
that plugin on my local site I'm gonna search that plugin I will provide all the links I'm showing into in this video into the description section so install the plugin while installing this plug okay it's already installed so let's activate this <coughs> so meanwhile we can we need to do a step so which step so we have to define this key in the wp config file so i'm gonna open my wp config file and i will add this constant into the wp config.php and here you can add your any random string um so yeah uh, make sure it it is not um, handy to other people but yeah you can add any random string or you can generate using this url like this and use any one of key so yeah that's fine if you add your random key or that generated key so i'm gonna use mine so once this is done yeah, plugin is also activated so now we are ready <coughs> for generating the web tokens so for that um, we have an API called this JWP auth v1 token so first we have to generate a token so i'm gonna copy this url post um it's a post request then jwp auth token and here i'm gonna add username and password so i'm gonna generate token for admin of this site admin of my site so i'm gonna pass that username and password so once you do this send a request so once you do this um <coughs> you will get this token over here so copy this token copy and for the api uh, in which we want to add a new post go to authorization and uh, select bearer token over here and add this copied api sorry about that to this box once you add this let me show you the params again so title is post by api this is content published so before running this api let's go to the post so 
<coughs> this post should be added over here with capital title so let's hit send so as you can see now it is not giving us an error and uh, we are getting this response in the api that means this post has been created so let's confirm refresh this and as you can see this is now added let's try to add another api um, post so let's say i'm gonna add mahabharata by api this is true event and publish refresh this so as you can see it is added and author is also the token i have generated for so it's author is this bunty let's confirm the content as well this is true event so this is how um, authentication works in the wordpress rest api if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys